Hi guys, it's Erin James. So today's video, if you haven't guessed, is all about Disney. And I am an absolute Disney addict since I was a baby. Insert picture here, which is of me dressed in a Mickey suit when on my first ever Christmas. I didn't even know about was dressed as Mickey Brady. They're so cute. I couldn't even believe it was me. <laughs> What I'm going to do is, I found a Disney tag online and I'm going to work out what all of my favourites are and then let you know. So number one, favourite character. It's actually neither of these. <laughs> it's Stitch. But if you ask me just about Pixar, then I'd say Woody. Number two, favourite princess, Ariel. I mean, my one might change this, but Ariel is number one for me. And then Mulan. Favourite heroine. So I don't want to use a princess now because I've because it's separate. Um, I will go with Megara or Vanellope because she's so cute. Like, I love how sassy Meg is, but then Vanellope is just awesome. <laughs> so yeah, Meg and Vanellope, but I'm gonna side with Vanellope. So Vanellope, mm. favorite prince? I have a really bad crush on Prince Eric and. <laughs> I think I've had it since I was a kid and I didn't realise that I was like crushing over him. But yeah. Prince Eric. I would happily, happily marry Prince Eric. Favourite hero? Peter Pan. I mean his favourite colour is green. My favourite colour is green. Kind of, he's got his copper hair. I used to have copper hair and I get a ginger beard. He's just so cool and he can fly. Favourite animal? Ooh. Disney. Ooh. See, I'm trying to never appear a character. I'm gonna go with Fennec from Zootropolis. But it's really hard because I'd also side with the bear. Because I don't count the triplets in Brave, even when there is for bears, because they're really human. So yeah, I'm gonna go Fennec. <laughs> that was quite hard, actually. Um, Favourite sidekick? Flounder. Flounder's just so cute. I'd love to see, like I know that there's a sequel and everything to um, Little Mermaid, but I'd love for like a little short series of Flounder or something and Flounder's little adventures, it'd be so cute. Yes, I did watch the TV series before anyone mentions it. <laughs> I used to watch every single Disney like animated TV series. Favourite villain? I love Disney villains. Like, ah! And now they're doing all the like Maleficent movie and they're gonna be doing Cruella de Vil and I'm just like yes, yes, give me more villains. Like merchandise is so low for Disney villains and I'm like come on, it's so like iconic. Oh, favourite villain. Right, it's either Mother Gothel or Ursula. I'm gonna say Ursula but I love Gothel and I wish that they'd do more of Go use more of Gothel. I mean she doesn't even appear in the Disney parks. Disney, you saw that out. You put Facilier in, come on. Gothel is just as high. Get her in the parks. Favourite original character? So that, I'm guessing that's no character that's come from an adaption from a book or a fairy tale. So that's a lot of films you would have count out. Can I say Stitch again? He's an original character. And I think how they have a marketing campaign and everything for Stitch means a new character joining the, um, the canon. Yeah, I'm gonna have to say Stitch again because I just think they did so well with bringing him in and making him so iconic for Disney. And he's just such an awesome character. Favourite villain song? <laughs> Poor Unfortunate Souls. It's just so sassy. It's just so sassy. Least favourite song? I want to say it's a small one, but I actually really like it. It's just, it's that song that you kind of say, I absolutely hate it because it's so catchy and cheesy. It'll probably be a worse one I don't like, but it's a small world for now. I'm not going to answer favourite kiss until Disney put an LGBT kiss in. That's not because I'd say I'd pick that one. It's just that uh, it's not fair to just, I just don't think it's, uh, this will be a different episode and I will rant. But I love it, Disney to pieces, but uh, I really hope that they're going to start making things equal and diverse. And Disney is such an important part of a child's upbringing in this world. 
Like, it's where it's where a child learns a lot about life. And I just really, really want them to put one in to be like, look, you can be anyone and anything and it's okay and it's normal. Come on, Disney, you've used queer stereotypes on so many characters, on so many villains, on so many supporting characters or alluded to in recent films, but you just can't confirm that one character is. Like, and it can be part of the plot. Right, before I carry on. If you want to hear more of my views on this, please tell me, because then I will film a video, because there will be lots of Disney videos coming up, but I kind of want to know what you want me to do, so put that in the comments below. First movie I ever saw. It was either Little Mermaid or Lion King, I think. But I literally can't remember, because it was when I was a baby. Like, I've watched Disney since I was a baby. I've probably watched the majority of the classics before I was five. I don't want to say that one, but I can't tell you. Favourite classic? Like, like the first like five films, like, kind of classic. So I know I watched Cinderella a lot of times, but I wouldn't class it as my favourite. Maybe Bambi? I mean, if we're going a bit further down the line, then it was The Aristocats, Fox and the Hound. Yeah, I really like the animal films. Oliver and Company. Oliver and Company needs more credit. And so does The Aristocats, really. Because Oliver and Company is such a good adaptation of um, Oliver. It just came out in that really awkward period where it just didn't get enough exposure. Oh, actually, Alice in Wonderland. Oh, Peter Pan. I'm gonna go with those two. Uh, those two more is my favourite, like, classic, classic. Because the ones I just said were a bit further down the line. So we'll go with, like, Alice in Wonderland, Peter Pan. Least favourite classic? Fantasia. I can't get through it. I've tried, I've watched sections, but I get really, like, I love classical musical as well. Classical music, I just, I don't know, I just can't. I'd rather have it being, like, short films rather than having to sit through the whole film because. I get really distracted. Mm, it's not really my kind of. It's, it's not really my type of full feature length film. Favorite Pixar movie? I saw Finding Dory last week, and it's amazing. But it will be Toy Story. Toy Story two. Yeah, Toy Story two out of all three, because I really like the introducing Jesse storyline. They got a sequel so well done to say that it was the first sequel that they'd ever done, and I love Bullseye. Least favourite Pixar movie? Cars 2. My cousins were addicted to Cars, but I liked the first one, but the second one... Meh. Could have done better. It just felt a bit, like, a bit rushed. And I was kind of like, oh yeah, I know Cars 3 is coming soon, so I'm hoping that's better. I don't... I know why they've gone for the world thing and, like, their races and everything, because it is a big part of the first film, but... They kind of leave a whole point of Radiator Springs and him going there, they kind of like chucked that away and we're just focusing on the racing and, I was, and I'd have liked more in Radiator Springs. Ooh, favourite sequel? Either... I'm going to read Toy Story 2 again. Or Finding Dory. No, Toy Story 2. Overrated movie. Oh no. I kind of... no. Oh, I don't... I think the most overrated Disney film is... I literally can't think of one. Like, not like overrated. Maybe Pinocchio? Oh, I love Pinocchio. Oh, I... No, actually, it's Fantasia. Because it's like, they got Fantasia 2000. It got a sequel compared to a lot of other films. Like a major, like, a major sequel. But I don't get it. Yeah, it was clever, yeah, it was like an ingenious idea, but I don't get why they chose to put it as part of like the animated canon. Well, it is, but it's just not... Yeah. Underrated movie, Oliver and Company, Fox and the Hound, all the Aristocats. But the Aristocats are starting together with Marie on everything, but even, but I don't, I wonder how many people have still watched the Aristocats, even though they've seen Marie everywhere, if they actually bothered to go and watch it. The triplets are the cutest, cutest characters, and I re I just really enjoy it. Uh, movie that makes me laugh, Zootropolis. Zootropolis had me howling, the finick. I was just giggling like crazy. Movie that makes me cry, Up. The first 15 minutes of Up. I think everybody says Up. I remember when I first watched it, and I literally could have welled up, because I was just like, that's life. <laughs> in 15 minutes and 
the whole film, I just thought, kept on thinking, what is going through his head, Carl's head? Like, how often, how many seconds of that film is he thinking about Ellie still in his mind, or what's he thinking? And it completely changed it, changed my perspective of everything, even to the end. I was like, is he still, is he even happy? Oh, it's so deep. My favourite scene from my favourite movie. I'm going to get rid of the favourite movie thing, because I'm going to say... At the minute, one of my favourite scenes is in Zootropolis, and it's the scene with Baby Thinnick. Um, just for the cuteness factor. Literally, it's just for the cuteness factor. And then, but from Lilo and Stitch, if we're going to say, because Stitch is my favourite character, is the scene where he says to Nani about Ohana. I just think that is such a poignant scene. Yeah. It's really, it's really heartwarming. The saddest death. For me, the saddest death is either Ellie in it up or Marlon loses his wife. Or Tadashi. Oh, my favourite quote. My favourite quote is in The Lion King and it is Rafiki. It's my iPad back screen. Back screen? Wallpaper. That one. Ah, here it is. So my favourite quote is by Rafiki from The Lion King and it is, Oh yes, the past can hurt you, but the way I see it, you can either run from it or learn from it. I just think it's, it's a really good quote. Like. The past has happened, you can't escape that. Don't act like it never happened because it'll come back. Like, it's your life and it's happened so it'll always appear again. If it's a mistake, whatever it's done, you've done it and I learn from what's happened and move forward, progress. Take what you, take the lesson that you've learned from it. Yeah, really poignant. Favourite theme park? Disneyland Paris or Epcot? Or the Animal Kingdom? I said so Disneyland Paris because it's the most beautiful main park, like Disneyland Park, and then Epcot for World Showcase, but I, because I don't want to say Epcot because I'd only pick it for World Showcase, for a full park, Disneyland Paris. My favourite themed attraction, like which my favourite themed attraction? <laughs> Even though I said I hate of a song, it is probably like, mm, no it's not. See it's been a while since I've been to one. So this is proper like jogging my memory, but I'm going to say, so I keep saying, thinking it's a small world, but then other than the song, I just think it's really cool. Let's see all the different cultures and stuff. And every time you see things that you never saw before, so I'm gonna kind of say it's a small world, but it's because I can't really remember. Cause I spent most of my time meeting characters over rides, which I kind of, don't really, which I don't regret at all, but if I went back now, I'd go on way more attractions. Way more attractions. Right. Favourite show? In a Disney theme park, Finding Nemo the musical. In terms of musical theatre, Mary, Mary Poppins. Though I am seeing Aladdin this week for my birthday, for my 21st. So it might change. So far I've seen The Lion King, Mary Poppins multiple times and multiple productions in the UK, West End and Touring. I've never seen Beauty and the Beast. I think it's a change, but I've never seen it. And then there's loads that just haven't been here yet. I'm so excited to see Aladdin and to see what I think of it. I will probably be bouncing, bouncing up and down in my seat at the end, because Disney magic. And my favorite love song, again, I want to have one where I can finally say like, it's not always a straight couple, a straight couple. <laughs> like, come on, Disney. I'm actually gonna probably say the last to see the light from um, Tangled. I think because it's quite late on in the film, and it's not just one of those, oh, it's the first time that I've met you, so I'm gonna sing about how much I already love you from first sight. Kind of one that so far down the road and they finally realise that's how they feel. I finally admit it and realising that I've got feelings for each other and the harmonies are lush. That's definitely it. And then that's it. So that's 30 questions on me and my Disney love. I'm going to do loads more Disney videos because it's probably one of my major loves and hopefully you want to see them too. So thank you, like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you soon.